I've just received this wonderful delivery of some tiles and they came from a company called Sci Mosaic. Now I'll put their Facebook address down the bottom of the screen here in case you would like to go and have a look at their other products as well as if you want to make any purchases. Now these are beautiful colors. I must admit uh, you know, I see a lot of blacks and I see a lot of whites and I see a lot of greys when it comes to porcelain tiles But I find these really really very beautiful Now these particular ones or this particular size here is 15 by 15 mil by 8 mil deep and These ones here are 23 by 23 by 6 mil deep now there's only one color in this particular size, whereas in this size, there's 11 different colors. Now I don't know why we've got two different sizes. This one offers one color and this one offers 11. I don't know why, but I'm sure that there would be a really good reason for that. But either way, they look amazing. And I'm not sure what you'd class these at as far as, far as to me, they look like they have a satin finish. Uh, you could class them as matte as well, but when you turn them a certain way, they do seem to have a little bit of a slight gloss. So I'd class it more as a matte to satin finish. Now they, the color is solid color all the way through. They're suitable for interior and exterior. They are porcelain, they don't fade, and they are waterproof, which means that they're going to be very suitable for outside. But in saying that, I'd be more than happy to use these inside as well because the colors I might have mentioned this before but the colors are really really beautiful now so I also and what I really love about this is Sci Mosaic also sell these in one kilo bags which is what this one is here because sometimes when we're producing a project or producing a mosaic we don't want to buy small amounts because you know there's a lot of online stores that sell 100 grams and uh, you know 150 grams 200 grams 300 grams but sometimes we want more and uh, so buying them in one kilo lots is quite refreshing now that doesn't mean so I won't sell them in smaller amounts because I think he does but the offering of one kilo bags is really really great so what I'm going to do is now to see how well these cut so I'm going to use a pair of these lepinets and we'll see how well they cut And they do, they cut very, very well, very nicely. Look how clean that is. No issue at all. Really, really nice. Now I'm going to try a pair of these Montelit nippers. Yeah, they cut well with those too. So when you're cutting these, the majority of the time you're going to get some really nice clean cuts so I'm really really happy about that because there's nothing worse than you get a tile and it shatters or it's, it's it's so hard to cut but I find these are really quite good to cut so I think uh, what we'll do is we might actually put some of these into a mosaic and I'm thinking about a mosaic where I can use pretty well most of those colors so I'm thinking about maybe a photo frame and maybe use these with stained glass and see how they uh, see how they turn up because although you know you could have a lot of these of one color together to create an outdoor mosaic or a flower pot or whatever the case may be but I think using them inside and using a lot of the colors together will be really good so I think a mosaic frame will work really well and of course as I said before using some stained glass as well so I'll clear this area and I'll come back and we'll start working with uh, these in a mosaic frame I'm good to go I've got a photo frame that I bought from the op shop or thrift store and it's in pretty good condition I've scored it all over I'm going to be using prep multi-use adhesive and I've also created some strips of stained glass and I've just quickly run over the edge of it with a grinder because if any of these, which they will be some of them, will be going along the edge there, I don't want anyone to cut themselves. And this does dry clear. And we'll just pop that in there. And again, like all the projects, this is just my way of doing it. It's not the only way. It just depends on how you want to do a mosaic. This is just my way. Put that on there. Now I just need to turn that around because I want that on the edge. That's good. 
There you go. And I'll come along there and wipe that edge a little bit later. It's not important I do it now. And whenever you use stained glass, it's always good to have a look at both sides because they generally are different and you just choose the side you like best. And this will be a fairly quick project because I'm not cutting the glass up into a lot of small, small pieces. So it'll be a fairly quick project, which is good because it's good to do a quick project occasionally. there you go all the groundwork's done I've added uh, some very light blue stained glass around the edge I've added some of these blue square gems which are really beautiful and they came from Cy Mosaic those square gems and so what I'm going to do now is just leave this uh, I will clean it up a little bit later but I'll come back and then it'll be ready for grouting tomorrow I think I'm good to go I've taken any of the texture marks off and I've got my grout here, my sanded grout, and I'll just give it a little bit of a final mix because it has been slaking. Okay, now I'll pop this on. And of course I use my hands to push it into the grout lines, squeezing out all the air bubbles. And I have actually sealed the back, or, or rather covered the back, so that's not an issue case I get grout on it. I should have shown you that before I actually put the grout on, but that's okay.
Okay, this is all hazed over and so it's ready for cleaning. Now I'm using a very well wrung out damp sponge and I'm just going to wipe everything over. Okay, I'll let that haze over and then I'll come back with a uh, dry rag and I'll use that to kind of like clean it all up. It's hazed over again and now I'm going to go in with a dry rag and just clean up around it and I'll probably be using my little tool here just to get into the corners to move out some of that excess grout just to neaten up those grout lines. Alright, I'll keep cleaning this frame up and then we'll come back and I'll have it totally finished. Well there you go, the piece is all finished and I really think it looks great. I really loved working with these porcelain tiles. I love that they're higher than the stained glass, that adds a lot of interest and a lot of texture and it also brings the piece alive because it's not just flat. Now if you get a chance, have a look at Sign Mosaic's Facebook page, he's got quite a lot of Tessera on there and uh, I'm sure there's going to be something of interest to you to purchase. Now if you have any comments, put them down in the bottom of the comment section on the YouTube channel and I hope you've taken something away from this video and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed making this piece. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy!